Hi, my name is Vesper McKenzie. This is my project, Have You Seen This Man? Lately, I found my work leaning more to how our appearance can be used to control how others see us and how they think of us. So in this project in particular, I was drawn to the idea of anonymity and anonymous dressing. I found through exploring the sort of mythological figure of D.B. Cooper, this guy in a black suit who disappeared after hijacking the plane with a ton of ransom money. I was very drawn to the idea that he was able to disappear precisely because he was so normal and normally dress, which is not something that's usually afforded to queer people, uh, particularly transgender people like myself. We find ourselves being visibly queer in a way a lot of people can mask. So I took to dressing up in this sort of conventionally masculine way as a defense mechanism so that people wouldn't look at me and see me as a queer person. They would look at me and see me the same way they would look at D.B. Cooper. And I found in going through this process that it's not something that I felt comfortable with. And I feel that there is a problem with society that needs to be examined and poked at if queer people can't feel that we can dress as ourselves that we can be visibly queer in this world without fear of how others are perceiving us and that is in itself a, a whole new system of control that needs to be confronted and I think it can be confronted through appearance and dress and manner and that's what I was trying to explore in this project. Transphobia was looked at metaphorically through nightmares I was having of snails that were chasing me around the world. And to conclude this project, I traveled to Paris to eat snail to consume transphobia. Hello, my name is Ryan Allen. I'm a visual artist from Belfast. And this is a project that I've been working on since 2021 and will be something that I'll continue to work on as I progress through different stages of life. The work is titled Fathom. It is a play on the words uh, father and mother while staying true to the word itself uh, of really making sense of something and trying to understand something. So my mother had multiple sclerosis from before I was born. I didn't know any different other than knowing her as a sick person and also my father as her full-time carer. The work is a response to my fear of transience after witnessing the body's vulnerability and mortality. So my process of creation is my reaction to the challenges I face, trying to challenge what's real and what's fake of my own preconceived perception of reality. It's been quite an interesting experience working with the aesthetic of the room being a black background, as normally the work is displayed in a white and blue aesthetic, keeping to a more clinical aesthetic. I really hope the work connects with people and doesn't just stay simply a personal project as most of the themes that run through the work is quite a global thing and needs to be recognized more and i hope that other people can connect with it hello my name is molly Coulter, and i am the writer and director of our short film land of the philistines our tagline for this film was reunited in grief torn by faith Oshin's journey home unfolds a tale of acceptance, self-discovery and fractured connections. I was really inspired visually by Hieronymus Bosch's exploration of sin and religious fear, that kind of allegory of trauma in Irish society which sort of permeates through this narrative. Our protagonist Oshin attempts to confront his religious identity within a conservative Irish community. Therefore, I focused on the 12 stages of the cross, which kind of engrossed my childhood. I really wanted to explore personally, like grief and religion, which obviously are two massive concepts. But I was reading a lot of Joan Didion when I was writing this script, and she has this beautiful quote, which is, grief has no distance, grief comes in waves, and sudden apprehensions that weaken the knees and blind the eyes. And I really wanted this quote to sort of sit on Ashin's shoulders throughout the whole story and kind of follow him through, not only for the grief of his father, but also for the person he felt like he lost, for the return into his community. I wanted to personally highlight the systematic pressure the church has put upon Ireland's youth and how this allegory of trauma sort of flows through our own lives and how we interact and live in a society. Hi, my name is Hannah McGurr, and this is my piece as part of our exhibition, Sanctuaries. So my work is this collage triptych of photography, and it's called The Creator, The Maker, The Divine. My work is an ode to feminine power in Irish mythology, and the figures representing Banva, Fala, and Eru, who are the three sovereign goddesses in Irish mythology. They are mainly present in the story, The Coming of the Malaysians, where on behalf of the landscape of Ireland, they give permission to the first race of humans to come and live on Ireland and be the principal people that live there. 
And in exchange, the humans then took on Banva Fallen Eru as the name of Ireland, um, but Eru being its principal name. I was kind of very interested in how Christian influences on what we would think of as female icons in Ireland and how they affect the stereotypes and expectations of women and such. So I wanted to create work that revered these icons that I think are so important to our foundational mythology and our culture and that have also been forgotten. These, these are the names that are supposed to mean Ireland. And despite the fact that Ireland is becoming more secular over time, it's still a country that's very heavily influenced by these toxic ideas. My name is Aidan Geary. Place is very important in my work and I'm often exploring the idea that when we look at a place, there is more going on in the scene, whether it's the place or the image, than we might intentionally anticipate when we first look at it. The theme for this year's Belfast Pride is Love Your Mind and I knew that the place that I wanted to work with for that theme was a stretch of the coast of Kent in the southeast of England where I used to live. Part of the way I work is by, by working slowly and by repeatedly visiting a place and I find that the more often you see a place, the more carefully you look at it in different times of the year, different times of the day, different weather conditions, different light, then we see different um, aspects and diverse range of characteristics that become evident in a place. Um, all of these ideas came together for this particular piece of work, this series of 11 uh, images of horizons in the southeast of England, which, when you look at them all together, form a sort of pride flag.